Hey there Pyro Peeps, Dex here. Just a little video about uh, my newer Cobra system that I'll be using throughout, uh, well, from this time forward. Um, so I ended up, you know, doing a little bit of playing on my own and uh, I got my 18M with um, a little bit ago with the slat connector, but the slat connector I have going out to a little pinout box that I made, <clears throat> excuse me, and that goes out to just um, some RJ45. So just for this example, they're coiled up right now, but you can go out as far as uh, your voltage will allow. Um, so the total on a circuit for me seems to be about 700 feet, which is pretty good, keeping my, my modules, uh, my breakout boxes away from my module. So there's my mod box that I made myself. The seahorses are nice, that's not in the budget for yet, so I have a cover I could put on here as well. That straps right down, I'll leave that off for the demo. And then it comes out to my little breakout boxes. Well, I'm using bridge post rather than the speaker jack connectors. Um, those resistors, I actually are just shorting each other. I'm just using them as, as shunts for this example so we can see what cues are, are live here. And um, that's it. I also, when these run in, you can run these in parallel. You can put in extra connectors right down here and start chaining them. So what I did was I put these switches on here as well. So what the switches do is it could knock out, you could knock out several boxes. You can see they turn red here. You could knock out all the boxes that you don't want to test uh, continuity on. So if you had three boxes in parallel, say for a front, you could turn all, you could only have one of them switched on at a time uh, to test your connectivity with each one fairly easily. Um, I don't know if in future revisions I'll have the switch because the other concern is that if I forget to put it back on, that could be a problem when I have things in parallel. But, you know, first iteration. So anyway, this will be for a show. This will be for my first scripted show. Um, so again, it's nice that these breakout boxes are can be very, very far away from my module. Keep that safe. I still have a cover over my module. And then, you know, if I were to arm the system. Boom. And then I have everything set to actually go off of channel zero. And, uh, and this was fun too. Definitely, you know, scripting my first shows, even though it's a pretty simple scripting, it's three scripted events. So it'll be a 200 gram cake line, a 500 gram cake line, and then the finale. But uh, it's, still, it's still pretty cool to go through. And then, you know, and you can also, you can, I'll just jump through the steps to get through. Then it goes back, returns to channel zero. I know that event one went, so now my next event is number two. Boom, it goes through. Again, I'll just kind of step through here. Goes back, my next event will be channel, uh, I'm sorry, switch three on channel zero, three. And that goes through some whistlers. Boom, nice big cake goes off. As that's finishing, I got a flight of some Nashikis, and then with the Nashikis, and then boom, boom. Boom, a couple of titanium, a few titanium hits, and then show over. So there you go. It's a little video of some, some cool stuff you can do with Cobra. I really appreciate Scott Smith and company. They're, they've been so supportive and helpful in the little things I want to do on my own. Um, quite honestly, for most everybody else, the products that they make are more, more than sufficient, especially now with the, the, this, the 6Ms and the, the 6S, um, the, the slats for the, for the uh, six Qs that are series in parallel. You know, um, you know, if I wanted to save money, I would actually buy this now from Scott with his newer products. But this was a fun project for me, and it was cool. So, there you have it. Cobra setup. My uh, first scripted show will be this Saturday with these little breakout boxes. And, uh, yeah. Team Cobra, baby. All right. Later, Pyro Peeps. Ciao for now. Peace. And here's everything packed up in the... Um, the, the box that I also use the my keep my module my 18m in, so it has the side exiting port here, it has the antenna side over here. I can recap that to protect it, and then everything fits nicely in here. I have the, the breakout pinout box, the three breakout boxes, my antenna, and um, the right angle connector. Nice and easy. Pop the top on. Good to go. Oh yeah.